somewhere. Hey guys, we're down here in the eBay dungeon. Ooh. James was doing a lot of cleaning down here. Yeah. And there's still a lot of things that need sorted through. I've got some stuff there I'm looking up. The place still looks like and it. it still looks... Disaster. Yeah. But hey, it that's, is what it is. That's why it's the eBay dungeon, right? And I'm the master of disaster. No. Right now, yeah, hey, I had a really good sales weekend um, on the eBay. And I'll uh, just show you some of the stuff that I did sell. And had a lot of nice big sales, which was nice. Ooh, so show us your big uh, sales. I'll whip out my big sales. Hold whip on. it out. Excuse me while I whip them out. All right. Um, so you had one person buy a lot of the things. Yeah, I sure did. So we'll start with something just sort of regular here. Um, this little guy here from How to Train Your Dragon 2, I believe. Um, I just bought this. It was three bucks. I it sold it uh, for fifteen bucks plus shipping. Um, even though it had a broken toe here, if it, here if it didn't have that broken toe, I could have gotten a little more for it, at least twenty five. But yeah, it's just kind of shocked me that this thing was worth worth it, and it's going overseas. Oh, that's so, cool. That's interesting. Fifteen plus shipping through global shipping. <laughs> yes. Um. There's a DVD, or is it uh, uh, the Redemption of the Firstborn? You know, another twenty bucks. Again, the great thing about media: CDs, books, DVDs, movies, things. Is that like, like that. a philosophical thing or yeah, religious redemption, thing? The Redemption of the Firstborn is a remembrance of what the Almighty did for us at Passover. So it's something oh, about yeah. Easter and stuff. It's like a religious uh, DVD. Yeah, or wherever. Um, anyway, this um, I might have paid like two bucks for this. Sold for nineteen ninety nine plus free shipping. But again, the shipping is only like three bucks, a few bucks on this stuff. So if you spend fifty cents a dollar, two bucks at the most, mm -hmm. you can make some decent money on on media. So. You can still make some money on it because the it's like three nineteen for a media mail right the, now. The, here, the crazy thing is, like at a, at yard sales and stuff, people really don't value these. They'll sell them for a quarter even. It's because uh, most of them aren't worth much, but sometimes but you are. can find. Sometimes you can find that a they gem like that. But they wouldn't pick out the twenty dollars ones from the twenty five cent ones. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. So my point is, is that you know, if you want to sell media books, some people even just give books away that could be worth. If they're free, they're worth whatever you can get for them, right? Anyway. Yeah. And you know. That, that that was a decent sale, you know, cool. for what it was, relatively. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I have to get back in front of um, This thing is a little uh, statue that you, I saw, then you saw it and pointed it out. I'm like, yeah, I didn't know what it was, but I bought it anyway. Uh, it's the boulder. It's a replica. It's a paperweight by uh, that was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, the, uh, oh, the, the famous architect. So that's a museum replica. Well, actually, these are, these are in front of a house somewhere. They're giant. Oh, they're way bigger. I Frank Lloyd Wright's uh, one of his designs. One of his designs. His okay. Houses. Yeah. This is a replica, a miniature of like a way bigger piece, a couple of pieces. I wow. Guess two of yeah, these. that's one. I I didn't know what it was, and I I should have looked it up, but then you did. I think I spent. Three or four, four bucks on this, and it sold for thirty dollars plus shipping. Wow! So nice. So it took a little while, maybe half a year, but you know, it sold. Very cool. Very cool. Um, this just sold a few minutes ago. It is a piece <gasps> I bought. Witchy. It's always by Halloween. I mean, Witchy. this stuff sells like this is the latest thing I sold. Mm. This went for thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping so it lights up it talks and it's uh it, still wrapped it looks like earl there there's earl it looks it's, like louie really a little fluffy. That, that's me without my makeup oh <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah so again i made a, I, I think i paid maybe 10 bucks for this i did pay up a little bit or n no more than 10. awesome but, like i said flipped it for 40 plus shipping all right, now here's let's get to the higher price stuff. Do you know your weekly number so far? Um, Not counting eBay fees and and tax and well, shipping. Well, my, my number for the weekend, I mean it's not, it's like almost seven hundred bucks. That's decent but I sold for a two bunch days. Of other stuff in, the, on Friday we sold, you know, on Thursday I sold a bunch of stuff, sent it out. So yeah, uh, this is just the last few days, of, you know, which is for me pretty good. Right That's now. good. I'm for for to, a weekend, not and, bad. And it's from what we noticed that we're both listing every day. And that we're seeing stuff sell, sell that was listed three years ago that's yeah. all of a sudden selling. And when we throw out a number, that's before eBay fees and shipping yeah, and taxes. Of course, of so. course. But it all adds up and it's all nice. This Budweiser, Budweiser sign, it's a, it's a light up sign. It sold for, I had it up for 75 plus shipping. Mm -hmm. I got a fella um, last night go back and forth about whether this part worked, that part. This lights up and that lights up. I just put a new bulb in there, it lights up. It's got a chip on the side. All that is in the listing and in the photos. So. No, that's cool. Where'd you get that one? I can't remember, but I think I only paid five bucks for it. 
Oh, maybe a yard sale last summer or and something. I, they, yeah. yeah, some guy was just wanting to get rid of it, and uh, I think I bought it for five bucks. And uh, anyway, I had it for seventy five. Mm -hmm. The guy interested said, "Would you take seventy for it plus shipping?" I'm like, "Yes, that's very fair." I mean, obviously, yeah, that's extremely fair. Yeah, I mean, that's usually people try to get you half or less and try to, in you know, whatever. yeah, so totally. They, so hopefully, anyway. he really likes it. Yeah, and I'll pack it up good and send it his way. Oh yeah, um, you gotta pack that one up good. These these are great. Uh, this is some uh, really really rare collectible Hot Wheels uh, club stuff uh, that from the early seventies, probably nineteen seventy one seventy two, and it's a Hot Wheels fan club. So it's like Hot Wheels uh, ephemera. You yeah, you'd send away and they'd send you this packet, this like envelope, this membership. Here's the actual membership envelope. Oh nice. And you get like an iron on, never used, right? Uh huh. Uh, a bunch of like decals, which is cool. Oh cool the official membership uh, certificate that you'd send in or whatever yeah. and then a really boss catalog of hot wheels cars and stuff hot wheels stuff is people really amazing. love it yeah the early it's still stuff. the really old stuff even yeah. catalogs and remember i bought a bunch of posters off of a woman a couple years ago at a yard sale she gave me a bunch of them for 25 bucks mm -hmm. each i sold maybe four of them i had maybe seven of them i got to find the rest of them but each one sells for over a hundred bucks, almost two hundred dollars. Wow. Just for and they were gas station giveaways. They were just it's just random artwork of Hot Wheels cars. Yeah, and the Hot Wheels cars are even rarer. Some of those are very rare now. Oh my god. Even well, in beat up condition. Yeah. I was very close to a, a really nice collection that the guy was gonna totally keep, and I understand. I don't even think he knew. Which uh, would, but I would totally have wanted to make a deal with him on that because that those would sell for a lot of money. So. But anyway, but these sold. These were about like eighty bucks a piece. Wow. That you're seeing here. So this is like one was seventy five, one was eighty five, I think. Um, one just has this one had more stuff. This one is just the catalog, no envelope, but all the other stuff that came with it, the stickers, the you know, decals, the iron on in the thing so yeah 75 and 85 a piece, you know each oh that's nice and i think i did free shipping on those because i mean I'll, they'll, they'll go yeah out. i mean it's paper you, um, you could that would ship easy like in a you know um, mailer with some cardboard yeah this is another kind of a one that sold and you know i bought this for like i think 50 cents just the other day at a goodwill and it's a fallout mug it's a heat activated when you pour liquid in there and a that little fallout guy pops up oh know, so it like changes color to that fallout boy guy yeah yeah because well, i saw that at the thrift store and didn't think much of it because regular fallout mugs are like not really that much but i guess this one's a little bit different or special and i think this is a pre-production sample because it tells you not the microwave and everything so hopefully they read that stuff before they use it anyway yeah this sold for uh 20 bucks 20 bucks i think i got free ship on this wow. just wanted to get rid of it because it was only 50 cents that's cool <laughs> another thing i picked up the other day when i bought this were these shoes yes and these were shoes i overlooked yes these my shoes, goodness you did a better weekend than i did vision streetwear um they you know look i, I don't so they look like converse yes. a little bit like chuck taylor i smell the rubber but these are actually skateboard shoes i don't know if they're from 87 so they say 87 similar to vans but they have this like ollie guard you know whenever uh different skateboard tricks you can do mm -hmm. these are built uh with reinforced size so you can do your ollies and your skate tricks they're all very nice shape yeah size those 11 look nice. i could wear these but um they are in, in pretty decent condition I paid 15 bucks, and for me, that's like, oh, it's so painful to pay that kind of money. <laughs> Thrift store wanted 15. I flipped them. I had them up for 145. Sent on it off for 130 free shipping. Someone bought them for 130 free shipping. 130. You turned 15 dollars into 130. Yeah. And um, I, I'm thinking the thrift store probably just thought that they were Chuck Taylors or Vans. Yeah. And I think that's what I thought too, because I know with Vans and Chuck Taylors. Um, if you buy them for 10 or 15 bucks at a thrift store, they don't resell for much, so it wouldn't be worth picking up. Yeah. So yeah, I, I totally missed those. They need a little cleaning, but I think that the new owner will have fun doing that. They won't Yeah, care. you could take a, like a, a, one of those flushable wipes and just wipe it down a little bit before packing yeah, it up. Yeah, I might do that. And then put paper inside them so they yeah. have their shape. I just might do that. And then, last but not least, this deal was great. Um doesn't matter I, I so these are two different things i put together uh ultimately well the guy that's from, collects this stuff bought all this stuff for, from various estate sales yeah. in the past you, you've picked so, them up here and there and you've kind of over the span of what maybe a year or so yeah. you've acquired some of these so once upon a time there was a drink mix like kool-aid called funny face and it's uh this is an actual packet it's hard as hell 
<laughs> but <there's, laughs> don't eat those. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not for it's consumption. It's like sixty years old. Yeah, no, well, close. Yeah, fifty years at old. least. Yeah, collector uh, was was happy to get all this stuff. I even told him about this packet where he went and he found it and he bought it right away. Nice. But they had goofy grape, choo choo cherry, uh, freckle face strawberry, lefty lemon. Jolly Jolly Orange and Loudmouth Punch. I loved all this stuff as a kid. I used to drink this stuff. I remember exactly what it tastes like. That's really cute. Um, delicious stuff. Anyway, so this was 20 bucks. All this is going to be ship free to the same person. But the, what are these? These are um, iron-ons. They're uh, decals that you would order away for. And they're all the flavors. You know, Rudy Tooty Fruity, uh, Root and Tootin' Raspberry, Freckle Face Strawberry, Goofy Grape. But yeah, you just, um, these are all probably, I might ha be the only person with these. They're very rare. I, as you can imagine. Do you think the person buying them might use those designs to make reproductions? I don't care because what, I'm, what do I care? Do you because think they'll I don't use that to make replicas if but, that company's out of business and they don't have but, the yeah, I have no whatever idea. anymore? He, he said uh, that he's putting them in a very expensive display case. But again, I'm selling them. I don't care what they do with them. You can find all this kind of artwork online. I mean, so if you wanted to reproduce this stuff, um, these actual designs, yeah, you could. I mean, you, you could. That is really neat. But it, you, know, you can see some of the colors bleeding. Yeah, it's kind the of colors fun. faded or uh, bleeding through. It's a fun message. Kids, ask mom, not dad, but ask mom to put this patch on your t-shirt or jacket. So you would, uh, you know, it's a it's a really one of those cool rubbery kind too that probably would last a little while, but yeah, these were I had them up for thirty dollars a piece, and I had there's eight of them here. A fellow messaged me and wanted one of them all for two hundred, you know, which would make them twenty five a piece. Wow. <clears throat> and I said, um, yeah, I said that's fine. So I went and I, I had to go change uh, the, the ability to actually us. Uh, I actually I changed the price on all of them to twenty five, and he bought all of them right away <clears throat> so yeah i can remember last night you were asking me like how to adjust all that yeah there's several different ways i could have done it mm -hmm. but um, i just went ahead and, and after he sent you know he was just adamant about it being shipped uh for 200 dollars with the tax and everything i said i can't do that i'm already shipping them i'm already eating the shipping yeah i can't eat the tax too but he was cool with it you know I, but people will, will often do that you know from time to time they'll try to get a deal can't blame them for that mm -hmm. but um you know uh for that, you know, 200 bucks. I mean, I really didn't spend much on these at all. Nice. Um, I got this with a bunch of other stuff, and it's all been paid for many times over from that one trip. But, uh, yeah, well, I sat you, on these. Uh, yeah, you had others, like, you've acquired it over time. Didn't you have the cups, too? I, I personally have a few of the cups. Yeah, I thought you had some of the cups for your own collection. I do. Um, one thing I do have, and i got to put it together, is uh, of this are the little walkers that have a, meda a plastic medallion and a string mm -hmm. and a little plastic toys with little hinged feet and you would uh put them on the edge of a table you put the coin which is like a weight yeah and it would make the little feet move and it would walk off the edge of the table uh -huh. i have maybe four or five of these guys with the med but they're separated i gotta find them um cool those could be really good um i never got rid of those i've had those for years um, cool but yeah i mean so well some very good sales i only sold three things so far and i um packed two of them up already and we haven't done like a reselling vlog in a while yeah so when you were telling me you had some good sales i'm like well we should share that on youtube because maybe um you know for the monster hustle playlist some of the viewers out there might dig it or might remember um some of these retro things yeah and that's the fun thing about selling this stuff doing the ebay thing for me is um you get the stuff as much as much as i would like to keep this i don't need to keep it yeah um but and to get somebody that really wants it because yeah. it's like you're a procurer of their uh of their nostalgia of their of the stuff that they wanted you know? yeah so it's it's like they get to like relive those memories and it's it's like a yeah. fun nostalgia thing and i like you know getting this stuff should should i niche and just do collectibles maybe but i like you know I don't, this is what I don't sell. Yeah, a lot. you're new to the shoes, shoes yeah, and, and I've, I, I've been selling shoes and clothing for three or four years now, and um, I'm, I'm trying to go more into the collectibles. But yeah, we could talk more about this oh, on our. You sell, uh, a lot. you sell more than I do. Hey, hi, Louie. Guest star Louie. That's nice. Hey, buddy. Yeah, but uh, not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. Louie the Wonder Cat. <laughs> Great weekend so far with this stuff. So yeah, I'm going to uh, wrap this stuff up and get it to the uh, to the new owner. Cool. So, yeah. Thanks, hon. And uh, thank you guys for watching out there. Yeah, keep with the hustle. It's all about the hustle, baby. Whatever you do, whatever uh, your hobbies are, keep pursuing them. Fill it with cash. <laughs> <laughs>